This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I have a comment on one of my previous videos asking about SysTweak, but this time with vertical icons. So if you got to see my previous video on SysTweak, I show you how to change your game icons on your Switch Home menu to whatever image that you would like to change them to using SysTweak. So that's what we're going to do in this video, but we're going to be showing it with vertical icons this time. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so before we get started, just a quick disclaimer that this video is only for a guide on setting up your images for vertical icons. This is assuming that you already have a vertical theme and you just want to change your icons. So sorry about that. If you are interested in vertical themes on how to do that, leave a comment down below and I will make the time to make that a guide on that. But this is only for the images of your vertical icons. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so the first thing that we can do is open up the SD card that we're using on the Switch. And this is also assuming that you have CFW already set up on your Switch along with your vertical icon theme. But if you don't have any CFW, you can leave a comment down below and I will have a link in the description to my latest video that has the latest uh, CFW, which is right now Atmosphere 1.8.0. Also works with Switch Former 19.0.1. But if you already have a setup SD card, assuming, then we can move on to downloading the files that we need for today. So the first one is going to be SysTweak. And if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links. But one of them should say click here for the SysTweak download, something like that. Once you click on that link, it should take you to my GitHub page. And here I have an updated SysTweak that works with Switch Firmware 19.0.1. And if you have that firmware, you can go ahead and scroll down and click on this. It should work with lower, but I think that there was an update for this firmware and the new atmosphere kind of messed things up. So if it doesn't work for you, you can click this release tab and you can get a lower version firmware. This one does work with 18.1.0 as well. So once you have SysTweak, the next thing we can download is the NX Game Customizer. And I went ahead and went this route because with vertical icons, it's a lot more complicated. And this person that left the comment, you know, helped me out as well with, you know, you have to change the, the ratio for the vertical icons to be stretched. And that is possible, but I was having troubles making it really good quality. So I found this tool here by this person and it just does it automatically for you. So I found it to be a lot easier. You can also use it for your, your regular icons, the little squares and vertical icons and horizontal icons as well. So once you're in this page from the link in the description, just scroll down and click on this link and start the download process. That's pretty much it. Now what we can do is extract them to the SD card. So after we do that, um, in order to extract them, I'm going to be using 7-Zip. And if you want to follow along with me with 7-Zip, I have a download link in the description as well. So let's start with this tweak. I'm going to right click and use 7-Zip tab to open the archive. Here we have an atmosphere folder that we're going to extract to the root of the SD card. So when we're in the root of the SD card, I like to scroll down just to make sure I don't accidentally extract any files into any folders. So with that, I scroll down, highlight my atmosphere folder and extract it to the root of my SD card. There you go. Now we have this other files. I do have a readme text file. If I'm going too fast for you, if I'm going if I'm a little bit too confusing, you can follow along with SysTweak here and use my README text file to help you out. So once we have that going for us, now we can go ahead and extract these files. So I'm gonna use 7-zip again and open the archive. And this one needs a folder to have all of its uh, directories or files inside of it. So we need to create a folder. I'm gonna create one on the desktop and I'm just gonna name it, um, GIC doesn't matter what you name it to. We just need to extract all the files together into this folder. I'm going to highlight all of them, extract them there, 
and now we're good to go on that end so it should look like this all right so we should be good to go to get started with uh changing our icons so go ahead and find an image that we need and let me get started with that okay so i'm going to be using two different titles as an example one being sonic mania which i have chosen this image right here and the other being mario and luigi brothership which i have chosen this image here now choosing your image can be somewhat specific you can choose whatever you feel like but to make things a whole lot easier and work a lot better it's best to choose an image that is of two to three ratio or one to one ratio so you know as complicated as that sounds pretty much an image that is a rectangle that looks like this or a one to one ratio that looks like this so one to one would mean that it's uh the same height and width which this is 1672 by 1672 and uh program that we're going to be using the icon customizer will fix all this for you so using a one to one ratio or a two to three ratio which i prefer so this would be a little bit somewhat of a two to three ratio it's a more of a rectangle and i have chosen this image here so i'm going to go ahead and save the image and you do need to make sure that your images are of jpeg so this is a dot web. I do have a website that um, I will share with you all with the link in the description to help edit images, which is free. Once we're inside this website, we can go and drag the image that we got from um, online. So I'm using Google Chrome. Just go ahead and drag and drop it in here. It's already gonna do the ratio for you. All you need to do is just go to file and then export as JPEG. There we go. Now that we have that, I'm going to put this on the desktop. I chose a different image, but I wanted to give you an example in case you find an image that is not of JPEG because it has to be in JPEG format in order for this to work. Now that we have the images, we are good to go with setting up an icon. So what we need to do now is we need to finish setting up the SD card. And what we're gonna do next is inside your SD card, we're gonna go into the atmosphere folder. Then we're going to go into the contents folder and in here we have to make a folder specific to the game that we want to change the image of so in this case i'm going to be changing the image of sonic which i already have right here but i will have links in the description to websites where you can search for title ids because this is a title id that we use for our specific game so just for as an example in the description below i have like tinfoil the tinfoil website and if it's working um you can go into this titles area and for example i'm going to be doing sonic mania you can just type it in oops and here we have the title id so it should look like this faa000 and if we pull up my sd card we have it already in here because i have it saved and then you can do this for all of your titles so if you want to use tinfo that's up to you i do have another link in the description that will be to this site here for title ids and if you're going to be using this website you can type Control f and it will bring up a search option and then you can search for the specific game that you want to change the icon of so with sonic mania again we can find the title id right here so once you find the specific title id of the game that you're looking for you're going to want to highlight this title id and then right click and copy once you have your title ID, you can go back to your contents folder of your SD card, which is atmosphere contents. And then here you're going to right click and then create a new folder and then copy paste your title ID. Now you have to do this for every single game that you want to change the icon of. So just be aware of that since I already have it, I don't need to save it. I already have it right here. But once you have your specific title ID folder already created, you can enter the folder and here we need a config file and the image so in order to get this config file we can go back to SysTweak and then right click and then with 7-zip open archive and then highlight the config file and then extract it to the specific folder you need to do this with all the folders as well so once you have the config file you can open it up and here the most important thing is to change the name so you can change it to whatever you wanted to change it to 
you can leave everything else as default but the most important thing is the name once you have the name saved you can just uh, save the config file and you're good to go now all we need to do is create our image so that's where this uh game icon customizer comes so now let's go ahead and open up the game icon customizer folder that we created and now we can open up this application so this application has a lot of things that you can do with it it's probably a lot easier than what i'm going to show you but since i don't really know how to use it that well we're going to just do it the only way that, that i know how so starting with this application open we can click on add new and here we have the options for method online or manual i'm going to leave it on manual and here we can change the icon style so this is default icon with a square we have vertical which we want to change it to we also have horizontal so you have all of these options to get set up as easy as possible but since we're doing vertical icons we're going to want to leave it on vertical and then we can click on load image and go to where i have my images so let's look for the sonic one which is this one gonna double click on this and there it goes it's already gonna give us a preview we have the icon name and then we're going to type in the title id here and it's gonna create it for us so now we need the title id which is right here like i said there's a lot easier way to get this on here but this is as <laughs> easiest as i found it for myself so title id for sonic mania for me is zero one zero nine a capitalize a a zero 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 f a a zero 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 now you're going to type in the title id of your specific game that you're changing your icon to but once you have this set up you can just go ahead and click on add and then it should automatically put it somewhere let's see you can click on view and it already resized it for you and it's going to be this small square but when you do the vertical images it's going to expand it it's only going to show a small square because sys tweak requires it it to be a small square we change the info we have it here uh, where the path is so we have it in the folder that we created of the game icon there's an output folder so let's go ahead and go into that folder and where is it at here we go here's an output folder and we have the title id already set up for us and we have the icon and it's going to be changed to icon.jpg so it does everything for you you just gotta type in those little bit of things so once we have the icon image we can go back into the title id folder that we created and enter it and once you have the config file set up you can just put in the folder in there now i did notice that it created a folder for us so if you want to just use the game icon customizer to get set up that way i guess that's a lot easier so sorry about that but once you have the icon that's pretty much it now i'm going to do the same thing for the brothership mario and luigi brothership and let's minimize this i'm going to open the application again right, now let's do the same thing for the mario and luigi i'm going to go ahead and click on add new vertical and here we need the icon which is this image here and gotta be this right here i'm gonna copy this can i copy this not let it copy this right here copy and then paste it and then click on add there we go same thing it's going to be in the output folder so let's go to the output folder and here it is look for the specific folder of your thing you can go back into the config just in case you lose your place and then just put your icon.jpg in the side there after that your sd card is done and you can go ahead and test out your vertical icons so that's what we're going to do i'm going to eject out of my sd card and i'm going to go into my switch with my theme that has vertical icons and we're going to see how the images look there all right so if everything went well with your setup on your sd card you should be able to get back on your vertical theme on your switch and your icons should be changed to whatever image that you chose
So in this case, I changed the Mario and Luigi and Sonic Mania. And on top of them being changed, they look like they're in correct aspect ratio. They don't look stretched out. It looks just great. As if you compare them to the other images that I have not changed, these look elongated and stretched. These look correct. So that application, the game icon customizer works really well. And I wish I did this on my previous video, but you know, my previous video still holds up. You know, I only did it for the default icons, which is a lot easier. But I also show that website for uh, photo editing and there, you know, you might find an image that is just not working for this application. So you have to edit it in that photo editor to try and resize it as best as you can, or you need to convert it to JPEG. So I guess both of those videos, I'm going to have them as, you know, in the playlist so that you can watch them both if you're interested. But this game icon customizer just simplified everything, simplified everything. And yeah, looks great. So let me know if it works for you. And if it doesn't, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. If you're interested in the type of theme that I got, I found it on Themezer and it is the vertical icons with the Steam Deck uh, layout. So I think it will, link will be in the description if you want to have this theme as well, if you know how to do it. So other than that, everything is working for me. Let me know if it works for you. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.